<laughs> we are happy family. New Browns in town. Old Browns in town. Yeah. Old. We've been Browns in town. Yeah. We're forever Browns in town. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're two brown skin girl. Nah, 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 nah. Then nah. remix. Bigger, bigger, bigger. <laughs> Cause I need some body who can sit by me. Wow. For the good oh, time. Oh, key change. Wow. Wow. <laughs> when have you taught me about key changes? Uh uh. Don't play me like singer? that. Did you guys practice celibacy before getting married? Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, we have a special somebody sitting next to me. The one, the only, Ma Brown. It's a husband. It's a husband. <laughs> <laughs> So over on my Instagram, a lot of you guys have been asking for a video with the both of us, so... We're here. We're here. Make We're it happen. Yeah. So, um, quick disclaimer, I'm a little bit under the weather, so excuse my voice, but we move. We move. Definitely move. So, um, over on my Instagram, I asked you guys for your questions and you guys sent in a ton of questions. Um, so we're going to get through as many as we can without making this video too long. Um, and also, a quick thank you to everyone who has watched our wedding film and has shown it so much love. Whew. If you haven't watched it, after you watch this video, go and watch that one. But why haven't they watched it? Of course they've seen it. Just They've seen it, but you know, the, the one or two that might not have seen it. Y'all behind. <laughs> get with it. Alright, cool. So let's get started. So... We are going to do a get to know us video, meet the Browns. So we've got all of your lovely questions here in our bursement cap. Um, so yeah, wanna get started? Do you wanna pick the first question? Okay. First question is by save.soul. Did you pray to meet each other? How was the waiting season? Wow. Slide off on a deep <laughs> one. Go on, you answer it. No, you go first. This is your channel. You go first. Let the guests no, come second. No, to, to be fair, you, I feel like this is more appropriate for you. Okay, you start and I give my perspective. Let's go. Okay, I didn't really, I didn't really pray to meet you. I kind mm. of, I kind of prayed the opposite, to be fair. I wasn't really, I didn't think I was ready to like get married or anything like that. So for me, it was like, I was 100% in like Bethel mode. So it was like, get your life, girl. Go to uni, do your masters, mm. get money, get fit. So I kind of, I just prayed for God to keep me. I was just like, just, just hide me until my husband comes. So I didn't really, I wasn't praying like, Lord. But that's a God. story there, the, the hide me part. Explain that, elaborate on that. Yeah, just I was just tired of like not knowing. So it's like when people not come, like, what? like when guys come and approach you, and mm. then you just know like, nah, like they're not the one. But I didn't even want the energy of like having to go through that whole like dating and like I was just like I'm so just over it so I was just like God just hide me preserve me keep me I don't even want people to look at me guys to look at me mm. so I literally just prayed and I was just like God just hide me until I see my husband mm. I heard that it. I heard that I had a list I had a list of qualities I liked um but I've come to understood what I needed in a wife and I I prayed on it I definitely prayed on it um the waiting season, I went through different seasons where I felt like I wasn't ready to settle down just yet because I wanted to develop myself and develop my personal development. I think it was like 2016. I even said it to Michael. Um, I said to him, you know, next year I'll definitely be finding my wife. I just felt like I was in the season to, mm -hmm. to, to find her, but yeah. Let me pick the next one. Hold this. So. The next question is by at sandywoods86. What church do you guys attend? So, we attend Caris Ministries. Caris Church. An amazing church. It's amazing. <laughs> Head Pastor Reverend Dr. David Entry. Whoop, whoop. Yes, with his wonderful wife, Pastor, Pastor Will. Entry. Sam. We love them. We love our church. Normally held in yes. Victoria, or if not Victoria, um, Park Plaza. Um, Vauxhall, I'll put the details Vauxhall, in the Vauxhall Riverbank. I'll put the details in the description box. Come and fellowship with but us on Sunday. Follow the app, Karis. We'll, I'll pull it there, Karis. At Karis Church. 
Next question. Hold this, please. From King underscore Tandor. How long should a couple date before they get married? Subjective. It's different for every individual. Yeah. I think you put yourself at a disadvantage if you give yourself mm. a time limit. Like, there's no right or wrong answer to this like Mm. i've spoken about this before like it's so important to not do things on your timing and to do things on god timing because even the right person in the wrong season will mess you up Mm. so it's really important to have the right person and the right season so um yeah there's no i mean we got married a lot faster than what i had planned how long did you wait before you got married how long did we wait i don't know we got we got engaged a year after dating yeah and then Married. Oh, okay. Yeah, eight months after married that. Eight months after proposal. So I guess we like, we dated under, for a year. We courted date, for a year. Courted for a year. Engaged for eight months. And we got married. Yeah. Next question. Hold this, please. At Shedzi Official asked, "Do you guys think Bethel is the best huh. dancer?" What kind of question is that? It's a great question. <laughs> Those who follow us both know who the best dancer is, isn't it? Like, we know who's dancing the most, who's got the best uh, moves. Uh, uh, hold on, it's not about who dances the most. Okay, okay, but they, okay. Pe- is, my followers, not... listen, let me just say something. Wow. My, my, my wow. followers have been following wow. my dance We're doing on my followers versus your followers 2017, situation. 2018, last year I had a, like a, a Shaku Chronicles. Every wedding, I did, I bust that, a new, a new remix, okay. a new Shaku. Doesn't mean it was great though. Exclusives. Doesn't Exclusive. mean it was great though. <laughs> But in terms of uh, wow, see that's how unimpressed the light is with your. Um, I'm questions. gonna turn this light and be back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back. To round it up, I'm the best answer. I'm the best answer. I on. guess one time we're gonna have to dance off, and then you guys decide because. Didn't we do that already on Instagram? And then didn't I win? <sighs> Moving on swiftly. Next question. Okay. At Exo Lee Sam Sam, describe each other in three words. Go for it. No, you go for it. Whew. Okay. Um, three words is not enough, baby. <laughs> Such a good look way to this, get out Look of at it. this angel. Okay, cool. Karen. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Virtuous. And I've only got one more. E. Beautiful. Wow. Look at this beauty. Fine. <laughs> okay. I am going to say caring as well. I'm going to say giving because mm. you're very giving. Mm. And then thirdly, I'm going to say inspirational. Inspiration. Yeah. Next question. At Flavia underscore KK says, what does Marvin do the most that makes you smile? Ah, Everything he does it. makes me smile. Okay. Okay. Seriously though, there's this look that he gives me when he's really happy to see me. Like he can come home from the office and he just has this look on his face and it just instantly makes me smile. So yeah, I'll say that. What does it look like? <laughs> I can't it. You just have this cheesy grin <laughs> on your face, and then most times you just start laughing, and then just baby, and yeah, you know, you just all right. Cool. Next, Next question. question, my turn. Question from Linka underscore Vanessa. Was it love at first sight? Was it love at first sight, before Was it love at first sight? No. It was love at first hair. Ooh. That's a story in itself. I heard about Bethel before I saw her and I said, hmm, this woman, there's something about her. Shout out Patrick. This is a guy I was working with. He's a director. And I was doing camera operation for him. And then he was saying that she's work. he was working with this lovely young lady who was doing masters and was like organizing his schedule doing like Excel sheets for his life, organizing his (laughs) life and everything. I was like, wow, you found yourself someone who can pattern. I said, I don't want that. (laughs) Someone who can manage, Mm. someone who can, you know, ease the load. Mm. I said, hey, this girl, tell me more. What does she look like? (laughs) So it was love at first here. But 
from there, that's when I inquired about her. Okay. But yeah, how about you? you she can't get away with it. <laughs> no, it was it was love at first conversation. Yeah, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. What do you mean? Rude. Ah, nah, what do you mean? It doesn't have to be love at first sight. So let's just move. We no, move. but we I move. didn't see you. When we, when I, we linked? No, that's different. It's at first sight. For you, it was first here. But I okay, spoke first, to you. On the first date. No, I spoke to you. And then we continued to text before I ever saw what you looked at like. At first conversation. <laughs> as long as my first conversation was bagging, I don't mind. My turn. It's been your turn. Question from Gracie underscore is loved. What aspect of your marriage are you most proud of? Our connection. Um, our ability to know each other like this. Yeah. Yeah, we're in sync. Very in sync. How about you? What would you say? So much in sync that I agree. I hear that. Next question. At Nyasha Shift. I think that's how you say it. How do you guys manage finances in your marriage? Privately. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, we manage it together. I'm not going to go into detail because, like I said, it's private. But um, I think we we're managed really good it before at... before we even got married. Yeah, that's a good point. I was quite open with my finances. Quite. She was very open. Yeah, she had access to. What my bank okay, account? Listen, yeah, let's be. No, 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 no. That sounds. That sounds <laughs> wrong. No. Okay, that okay, okay. Wrong. Clear no, up. Clear okay. up. So, I obviously have a background in business and project management, all, all those kind mm, of things. So mm, when you mm. came in, you saw that I had a skill in that area. So the only reason why I had access was because I was helping you to organize things, helping you yeah. with taxes, with payroll, with staffing, with you know, investment, more equipment, etc. So let me stop you there. So I didn't have your card and pin and I wasn't using no, it to No, no, I stuff. understand that. Yeah, understand but that. there will be some fickle people that will be like, yeah, she had his money. No. No, no, no. But that's the same sort of thing she does now. She organises our tax, you know, yeah, our budgeting I'm, and I'm, stuff. Like, so I, we... manage the, I manage the practicality of our money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're both very, like, we have money conversations all the time. Mm. Like, babe, what do you think? Should we do this? Actually, we need more equipment. Should we invest course, in this? Should we do this, etc. So... We just manage it very openly. We, we just, manage it together we, very we stay openly. On top of it. And yeah, as a unit. Yeah, that's but important. I, just had, I just had to clarify that for the trolls. I'm joking. Okay, cool. Okay, next question. At blessed underscore 770 says, What did you first notice from each other when you first met? I just noticed that she wasn't like any other girl. Aww, like, that's nice. Like, she was unique. Um,. And you can tell that by, I'm a very good judge of character. And I think her character was very wise in the way she carried herself with someone who respected herself. Yeah. That's what I noticed, that you respect yourself. <laughs> what did you notice? Doctor. I'm going to keep it real. The first time, like the first instinct was, wow, he's tall. That's the first thing that came into my mind. Okay. Um, and then it was your smile. You had a mm. massive smile. Um, can we put the <laughs> <laughs> next question? You want to pick? No, you go for it. Okay. What is? We have a question here from Abby <laughs> underscore O X O X. Uh, Mini Brown's in the picture. Anytime soon? Well, should we announce it? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. <laughs> No, nah, sorry, I'm wrong for that. Um, Anytime soon? I think I'm going to speak for Bethel because... <laughs> That's jokes. <laughs> she wants to enjoy marriage for now, innit? I, you know, I don't mind, innit? Yeah, let's, there's enjoyments. <laughs> We're enjoying, you know? You know? First year of marriage, you know? They'll come. Ah, oh, beautiful children. Oh. Oh, be Have you seen this hair? <laughs> um, I'm so done. Have you seen... Ha Habisha times Jamaican. <laughs> hey! Beautiful children. But yeah. For now, you just gotta take it easy. Hey, take, it take it easy. easy mate. At honey underscore Betty says, How do you guys work through disagreements and conflicts? This might sound a bit silly, but we work through them. Like, we just work through them mm. and we work through them quickly. But again, like you said with the whole mining conversation, we developed this while we were dating. Yeah. So we just don't leave things to linger 
or like there's like it doesn't matter what's going on if we're busy if we have to go somewhere no anything can wait like if mm. there is even like an <laughs> ounce of disagreement everything gets put on hold until we resolve it and we just talk it through talk it through i think that's the key just talk it through allow each other to speak listen allow actually hear what the other person's saying mm. and what i'm learning even for myself even recently is just kind of like i have to be sensitive there we that's go. my feedback i have to be sensitive to and deal with her sensitivity because i'm very much um you know problem solution solved. so what's solution mode like Sometimes what's, I just so how do we vent. resolve this she wants to vent first she wants me to understand and get it so i've understood how to listen and but this is a good point and i think one thing that we have done especially since we've gotten married is giving each other feedback mm. so if we ever and it's not like we're arguing shouting each other etc no, no but we, it's don't, just we like, don't really argue at all that much we, we rarely argue mm. but it's one of those ones where if we do have a disagreement yeah then once it's resolved then we kind of have like um i don't want to make it sound deep like a feedback session but just like i might say yeah. to you like by the way next time like i would really appreciate it if yeah. you did this or like sometimes i just need to 100. vent on a situation and you just went straight into solution mode i think that's a man thing sometimes yeah. you just want to resolve it and then sometimes you need to understand it from his perspective because then you said to me sometimes babe i just want to fix it for you so that you can be okay etc yeah, so let's just get to the bottom and move on <laughs> so we move why do you think they say we move we move <laughs> let's get to it and so, yeah. we move and then also have an agreement of like how you are going to get through conflict in a way mm. so like we hold each other accountable so we don't like raising voices at each other is, is just not acceptable so if we not can allowed. if no so if we can feel that like the other person is getting a little bit, you know, frustrated, then the other person will be like, hey, take it easy. <laughs> and then most times we actually start laughing, if I'm being really honest. And then- um, It's all fun and games. At the end of the day, we're, we're both on the same team, so. Yeah. It's always having that as the, the mindset. Like, yeah. it's us, yeah. period. Next, Next question. question. Jinx. 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 At Faith Ahmed said, what kind of things did Marv do before marriage that let you know he would be a good husband? Ah, oh, mm. thank you for the question. So, <laughs> um, the first thing I would say is consistency. So it's not really what he did, but it was how he carried himself. You were very consistent. It mm. wasn't like one week, happy Marv, give me attention. And then the next week, mm. just different attitude, like throughout he was consistent and I got to watch you in different settings so like I got to watch you in like work settings with family oh, you, with friends you had your eye on me yeah? my eye on you she was, she was pretty me close my eyes on you mm. but um you were very consistent mm. you come from a good home a good family that speaks for it that speaks a lot yeah um because obviously a lot of how you are is from how you're raised mm. um there's just different characteristics that you that I just picked up on and I was just like no this is this is someone I can see being being a good husband next, next question, question. <laughs> a question from you are C Cynthia C Tony Cynthia Tony thank you for that um how old was you when you got married plus would you advise someone to get married young I was 29 she yeah. was she was 25 and um would you advise someone to get married young it's the same as what I said. Like, I would advise you to get married when it's the right time for you to when get married. When it's the right there's time. No, Divine no timing age. is always the best timing. <laughs> That's quotable. Tweet that. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> At Miss underscore Tut said, how do you and Marv manage a healthy married life while still working together? We get this question a lot. Well, I get this question a lot. Okay. Do you answer it? We share all aspects of our life together, so it doesn't really seem separate. I, I think, don't think we manage it. I think we just do it. Like, I know yeah. that might sound silly, yeah, but it's yeah. like, it doesn't... I think it was only the first time that somebody actually asked me that <laughs> question. I was like, oh, snap. Like, I, I don't know. It just mm. seems so, like, second nature. Mm. Like, we enjoy working together. We just make it work. And also, I think it's important to realise that we're not both doing the same thing. Like, we both have our sides of the business that mm. we're working on, even yeah. though we're both actively involved. And what is so, that? What's the sides? Give them a little insight. So... I am Marv's business manager. So I deal with like the day-to-day -day of the business from like inquiries, the whole client journey, like our scheduling, our calendar, our finances, our taxes, mm. all that fun stuff. And then Marv deals with 
um, the all of the editing, all of the filming, um, all of the staffing, training, um, equipment, um, development for the company, um, social. education, social, etc. So we're both involved in other aspects. So like I will have sit downs with Marv on mm. where we want to take the business, on our packages, etc, etc. Yeah. And then I will learn how to film, help out on shoots, help out with staffing, etc. She so, grows so quick. She didn't know nothing about camera until I she met actually. me. And you I picked up I think after the bit. first after the first shoot she was shooting away. That's crazy. Fast learner. But yeah, so we both both of our sides of the business kind of cross over, but because we're not we're not both doing the same thing, we have our, our sides of the business. So we just we just make it work. Yeah. Next question. Question from your girl underscore two six three. Mrs. Brown, what is your favourite memory dating Marv? Hmm. Okay. I like these questions. <laughs> Aiming at Bethel. Allows me to just chill and just true, receive. You guys need to ask <laughs> Marv more questions. Um, oh, okay. Your text messages. So, basically, <clears throat> every... Good, how long did you keep it up for? You kept it up for a while, like months. months. Basically, every single morning, I would get a text message from Ma. Sometimes they would be short. You're getting shy. That's all right. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> all right. Sometimes they would be short. Sometimes they'd be long. But it would basically just be. It would be a morning text. It? It's a morning yeah, it's text. It's a morning text, but it was. It wasn't your average. It wasn't like, "Hey, babe. Good morning." Like, he would start it off with like a different first line. So it'd be like, hi, my beautiful, or hi, my this, or hi, my rib, or hi, my queen, or hi, my amazing woman, mm. or hi, my intelligent. Like, I'll every limit, day would be... Unlimited bars. No, I can't <laughs> lie to you. I think one day we even laughed about it and was like, these bars hey, are really not running out. I have but a creative was, mind. That's the time I realised that like, I'm very creative, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I found a new way to call you something. No, but it wasn't just that, but it's like the rest mm. of the text message would like... Yeah. it would kind of correlate with how it started so like i remember towards the end of my masters when i was doing my dissertation yeah i'd be doing all-nighters and so he'd send me a message in the morning linked to like whatever happened the day before so he'd be like hi my intelligent woman you've got this your masters is almost done da, 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 da. hope you have a great I'm day decreeing, message me when you wake up declaring <laughs> <laughs> prophesying <laughs> no so yeah i think that was and i've i've kept all of them. It's I'm gonna, I'm gonna show our future daughter and say, if your man doesn't it. do this, he's not the one. I'm it's gonna... really, <laughs> really good. <laughs> okay, cool. Next question. Let me see. <laughs> At Haley Molenda said, "Who can eat more chicken wings in one minute?" Sounds like a challenge. Nah, we're not. T- we're not doing. It. I'm not but, eating. But we know. <laughs> yeah, I would Mom. be able to, but. It's a challenge. Marv, <laughs> Marv Cass is the way I eat chicken wings, to be fair. She doesn't, f- she doesn't I finish don't, the just, meat. Just give me strips. I don't need all this bone. You know, nonsense. actually, I don't chicken need wings it. is my favourite. I would just pull it in my mouth and slide and it, it out. It's just done. Ah, it's a game. It's, it's such a fun game. But yeah, yeah I win. And then but. when I finish, Marv will just look at my thing and he'll just assess. <laughs> so sometimes he'll be like, the way oh, she oh just wow. He'll be like, wow, yeah, you, really, you really ate it well. Or most times he'll just, he'll just look at me disappointed. But... Bones are long, I don't know, yeah, I don't like it. Wings are deep. Okay, next. From at Jen Lewinsky, did you guys practice celibacy before getting married? Well. <laughs> <laughs> next question. <laughs> See ya. We bang, 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 bang. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> I lied, I lied, I lied. Wow. You practice celibacy. I'm so, I can't take you seriously. Talk, talk, talk to them. Talk to your people, them. <laughs> no, we 100% practice celibacy. You're silly. You know the funny thing is? What time did you even get back from your wedding? I don't think we had a... I don't think we had a <laughs> wedding we, night. We, we had a wedding morning. We had a wedding morning <laughs> When we got when we got back to the hotel, it was morning. So she was out cold. <laughs> you saw the wedding. The wedding was too lit. I don't think we even. I think did I was nothing. even surprised. No, okay, yeah. Funny story. I can't lie. When I woke up in the morning, I was, I was very surprised. Like I didn't. I wasn't used to it. Innit? I woke up ten. I was like, oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm married. Somebody in the bed with me. So yeah. So yeah. 
the next day. Day two of wedding. <laughs> day two, day two of wedding. This is when we got it on and popping. Okay. But so yeah. we absolutely abstained from from sex until we got married mm. because that is the right way to do it. It mm. is the biblical way to do it. It is the best way to do it. And if you really want to take a girl serious and want to marry her, you'll wait. And she's worth the wait. Hmm. Look how gorgeous she is. Gorgeous right. sisters. Next question. Wow, what a way to end. Okay. From at only one miss underscore B. How did you guys meet? How did we pick this last? I don't know how we picked this last. So many people asked this question. A ton of people asked this question. How did we meet? Bethel? No. You're answering the question because I started it already pursued, earlier. Yes, but you pursued me. I did okay, not pursue I'm gonna I'm gonna give the short answer. Yeah. As I said earlier, I heard about her before mm -hmm. I met her. When I heard about her, I realized and I connected something in my spirit leaped. Wow. Like Mary, when Mary met Elizabeth. <laughs> something in my belly leaped. My spirit leaped and said, hmm, this is a destiny changer. <laughs> destiny helper. Okay. I knew. Paris family, listen, listen, that listen, one. listen. From then, I had to pursue. And I had to, but when you we had our, stalked. but listen, when we had our first date, we, we, okay, we went crazy golf. He picked me up from university, um, told me that he's patterned our date, so I didn't know what we were doing. Had it all planned out. Um, took me to crazy golf. Yeah. And then. Had a lot of fun. Yeah, lots of fun. Who won? Then, Actually, we drew. We drew. That's crazy. Yeah, we drew. We got the exact same number of points. 36, 36. Yeah. And then, yeah, we just sat down and we just chopped it up. Like we just had a real oh, good level-headed conversation. But the 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 married lives and the, the amount of um, compatibility, yeah, and things that were just connecting like this, it just it was just it was a prophetic moment. I know for me, that's during that conversation is when I was kind of just like, wow, like is is this like it took me back. But you know what? The whole day and the whole conversation, it was like it's like we knew each other. Yeah. We, this is the first time we've met in terms of like sat down and spoke properly but it's, it's like we met in a, in a, in a lifetime before yeah. so it was crazy and that's when I knew hmm yeah. god I know this that, god that, that, <laughs> <laughs> I know that that train ride home I was rattled I was just yeah. like rah like well, that's it and here we are so that is it for all of the questions mm. I hope you enjoyed your time with us and you have got to know us a little bit more. We've let you into our world. The new browns in town. The only browns in town. Um, the old browns in town. I don't like the old browns. We've in been town. browns in town. There we go. Mm. All right. It's just part of the, you know, the wicked, wicked. You know, the little rap thing. You get me? <laughs> okay, cool. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Smash the like button. Smash it. Make sure you subscribe and you hit, hit the bell button. <laughs> <laughs> so that you don't miss another video. Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> okay. What's your at? At Bethel Brown underscore. Mar Brown Films. Twitter and Instagram. Same with her. Twitter and Instagram. All the same. Follow us. But yeah, comment and below and if you want another video of us two together, let us know. And for now, for now, for now, wow, for tonight, for tonight, for now, for now, for right now, this is over. <laughs> <laughs>